And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2018 Japan, K Festa number one. Here at the Saitama Super Arena in the main arena configuration, we've got 15,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout to begin in the red. Fan favorite Takeru taking on in the blue Stauros. Here we go. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Let's see what happens in the ring tonight. That's right. I'm not sure about that last name. Exacustidis? Yeah. Exacustidis. Goes by Stauros in Japan. Stauros. This here is some more quarterfinal action in our K1 Super Featherweight World Championship Tournament. And we've got another banger. Two really tough fighters here. Yeah, I really like Stardust's fighting style. Uh, really good combos. Really, mm. really tight guard. But firecracker when he <laughs> when he goes off. Oh yeah, man. He's he's got great punches, and like you said, real tight guard. Keeps it up high. Throws all his punches and bunches. Finishes with good strong low kicks as well. Takeru is a little pushover himself. Oh, Golden Incredible speed, power, and timing. Ooh, nice spin kick. Mm. Yeah, good check too. You can see how stiff that check of Stalos' oh, low yeah. kick was. Ah, a ripping body shot there. Kind of conservative so far. Yeah. I think he knows. Ooh. Power, how, how much of a dangerous opponent Ooh. Takeru is. A big knee there, I don't know if it landed or not. Nice body shot as well. Sorry for you to get out, get out, get off the ropes. But you don't want to be there. Yeah, Takeru has got great, you know, just great posture. He doesn't, he doesn't crouch low, he doesn't put himself in a real dangerous spot. He's just moving forward with huge shots. And he whips the body with that right hand so well. They're always moving forward, looking for that real finish. Ooh, nice. Sweet kick to the Exactly, great punch. kickboxing tactic there, the painting the kick, stepping through, making your rear hand your lead hand. Oh, it's sort of a looping shot over the top. Some big swings by Stavros. Not landing. Well, people might ask, you know, what, what makes Takeru so special? How is it that he's so good? You can see there's nothing, you know, beyond that, um, that step through punch. He doesn't do anything super fancy. Just everything he does is so fast and powerful and committed. Yeah, it's committed. That yeah. he knows what he wants to do. I think that's a big thing you see a lot of. Uh, Ooh, nice and combo. Ooh, I was lucky. Watch out for that one, but. Seemingly unfazed, just marching forward with that front kick. Yeah. That's why, yeah, the, these fighters in K1. Most, um, pretty much every, 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 every win, it's because the fighter went into the ring knowing exactly what they were going to do, mm -hmm. and they executed it. And, and it works. Sometimes you have a plan that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike Tyson said, you know, everybody has a plan until they punch in the face, but... Uh, Having that plan is step one. You are. Right? You're so right. Uh, because at this level, if you if you're going in there without a plan, um, you're get, you're going to be lost in the ring. Uh, you got to have a good corner, a good team, and you got to have something to stick to. Uh, because yeah, the level is so high here. Both these guys are so good. And Takedu um, just kind of walking Stauros down yeah. that round there, um, and that's exactly what he needs to do. He's got to watch out though for the punching, yeah. especially the, the uppercuts. Um, so he's got a real, real, landed a real nice left uppercut there at the end of the round. Yeah, but I also like what Takeru is, he, as he's marching forward, he's always using the the, the appropriate weapon for the distance that he's yeah, at. Yeah. He gets in that close range, and steps in with the knee. Yeah. He's at the middle range, he's letting some punches and low yeah. kicks go. And then when he's long and far out, he's it's sticking the to the front yeah. kick. You know, everything is just textbook. So far, good, good match. Both, I think both fighters kind of understand 
if they want to do. Mm. I think Staros might be a little more offensive this round. Yeah, he's definitely got to be a little more active. Kero knows that as well. Mm. Oof. Mm. Good, good yeah. left uh, looping shot there from yeah. as, as a counter. That was that was really effective actually. Stanis does just a little faint to these punches, but Takeru is so fast. Ooh, nice spinning back kick, but Stanis is made of stone. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Really, it, you would you you look at the two guys next to each other and you'd think. Takeda looks like the taller fighter, but it could just be, I think there were similar heights. Yeah. It's just Takeda with just that big, tall posture. Yeah. And he just allows him to march in and get some real power on his knees and front kicks. Oof. Oh. This round, Stardos is not giving Takeda any, Takeda any, any purchase in the ring. He's sticking right in the middle. Yep. Marching forward. Exactly. Ooh, nice spinning back kick from Stardust as well. Yeah, Stardust might have some luck throwing something a little bit unorthodox. Yeah. Um, definitely the stuff, because Rocky <sighs> does have that tall posture, the stuff over the top, the, the overhand right and left, aren't bad shots either. Yeah. It'll come in with some, ooh, some big punches. Ooh, nice body shot. Ooh, backed up a little bit there, buddy. Yeah. Stardust. Nice. Ooh, yeah, see, that nice. was pitcher. Yeah. Picture perfect. We got to get a little upset, I think, there. Yep, that was smooth. <laughs> Another <laughs> little. Moving the head, slipping the shots, and then coming back with his own. You know, and, and when you're. The, the tough thing, too, when you fight a guy like Tucker is he is just murdering the body. Yeah. He throws the front kick, not so much as a push kick, but an actual percussive strike. But he's smiling there. Yeah, I believe I be, it. Yeah, I believe your theory when the fighters start smiling is because then they're, they're hurting. <laughs> it's a great head, great head movement. Head wow. Movement. Yeah. Wow. Doing what he needs to do a lot more this way. Yeah. Yeah. Laying these jabs. Laying these jabs. Ooh! Wow. Beautiful. There's a bit of unorthodox wow. scissoring knee. And that is what he needed, man. That was a beautiful technique. Wow. <laughs> Tried it again, but Takeru got out of the way. Looking away. Some amazing hands here, and Stados has this round. Unless he gets knocked down in his last three seconds. Ooh. Pressure from Takeru just keeping it up. Wow. What he needs to do. Great round. Takeru knows it. That's why he's laughing. He's like, yeah, I got, I got my shit handed to me. Sorry, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got my, my uh, dookie handed to me that round. And, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Great jumping knee there. Looking like um, his fellow countrymen... Mike Zambidi's there a little bit, Ooh. popping up the knee from below. Yeah, yeah. What a, what a good round, wow. man. And Takeru doing good work there, too. For me, Stavros Ooh, and then he hit him again. Like, yeah. ooh, if he landed that punch, it would have been over. If he landed that that uh, that left hook, it would have been lights out. I think they're around for a round here. I, I think Stavros did enough, uh, enough clean work there to oh, yeah. take that guy. Oh man, what a nice technique. Wow, what a fight. Takeru is not often in this position no. too. I'm sure he's a bit frustrated. He needs to stay composed though, because coming out too wild um, is not gonna serve him well. Wow, what a, what a, what a good round. Good series of rounds, yeah. round one and round two. He's cerebral in this yeah. a smart guy. Yeah, both fighters need to pull ahead. Whoever takes this round, I think, will take the fight. Pocket is just pushing him right in the corner yep. right off the bat. To watch out. Stavros has to watch out that he is in But the kid was dangerous. And he's keep, you can see in his eyes, he, he's, he's, he knows what he wants to do. He's mm -hmm. like, I, I, gotta, I gotta put my, the pressure back, keep him on the ropes. Yeah, the early body work that he did. Um, oh. The gamble there. You would that. imagine it would be effective, but Stavros at the end. Yeah. yeah. Looking really good, jumping around. Yeah. You got to watch out, though, because hitting the, hit the mat that hard will yeah. definitely take a few seconds out of his, his stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to have to set up those unorthodox mm. flying techniques a little bit, a little bit better, a little more smoothly. 
Ooh. Big knees. You're getting the knees through now, and those just sap your energy, man. Dancing forward. He's been playing up his guard a little bit, but yeah, the kid is real. Ooh! That's neat. I think, you know, Sados, that's, that's the conundrum. You know, he needs to keep the guard high. Takeru's feeding the knees through low. You gotta bring your arms down. Takeru so knows yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Takeru will more connect. Yeah. yeah, he will throw a punch as soon as he's not sure ready to get knocked out. Slugfest here going on. Yeah, hey, both guys landing big shots and just absorbing them and tossing back. It's a little, yeah, a little, yeah. Switches up and throws there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's that body work. Oh, oh, oh. just the, thought us a little danger. The posture and the power here. Takeda just breaking away a little bit there, but Stato's coming back with his own attack. He's falling back into it. Stato has to loop around. He has to, to move left or right. Yeah, he can't stay in that, in that corner. It's this is where step. the the most well conditioned of the two fighters is going to be able to break away a little bit. Yeah. And Tucker has been working the body. It's seemed to pay dividends a little bit. Here. Definitely. Kid was pulling ahead here. Score some big points there. Sharp hooks. Yep. Big, big, massive high kick. 25 seconds left. Stados has to do something to win yeah. this round because Takeru is definitely pulling away here. He's getting caught with shots around the guard, the hooking shots. And the Ooh! Mm. 10 seconds left. Takeru is going for the KO. Stados, yeah. Takeru is great follow through on his hooks, man. Oof. Yep. And there you have it. There you have it. Takeru with the win, I believe. But let's see yeah, what the judges. I don't know how Stavis didn't go down there. Oh my gosh. Good chin on He's cut from the finest Greek marble, man. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah. Takeru, mm -hmm. man. Uh, Pulled through. Having some trouble there in the second, but being smart. And uh, I think, you know, just, just his, his physical yeah. strength, yeah, too, yeah. that yeah. would. He is just an incredibly strong guy. And I still can't believe we're just in the quarterfinals of the K1 Super Featherweight World Championship Tournament here. These, these two fights have, have been a bangers, man. Yeah. Wow. I'll get you the first and the second. The first and third. Big, big, big difference. Really, I guess the second round didn't matter too much to the judges there. Yeah, I would have given it to Stones. Mm. However, yep, definitely a, 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 a not easy match. He advances in the tournament, um, but having to really earn earn that victory. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. amazing performance. Mm. Stowers, um, Yeah, excellent fight. And uh, now uh, Takeru gets to have two more, maybe, or one or two more. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that is the present. He's got to go back to the staging area, get a little ice, and see those wounds because he needs some hard blows from Stalin's. Definitely. Well, there you have it. K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. K Festival 1. Catch you next time.